influential in a respect on me as well, you know, because you know, in those days, you know, it's sort of like you come in, you come in a new building, new place, sometimes unfamiliar faces, but they, they make you feel welcome in their own way. And they're all different people, you know, they're all, um, you know, different, you know, no one's the same, are they? And, uh, you know, you can have a few rough edges and I've had a bit of a different life, I guess, you know, I, I don't come from um, a polish background, so to speak, you know. Although um, I can uh, string a sentence together properly, um, you know, there was a sound like when I couldn't string a sentence together properly. And uh, I came into that place, and let's, uh, the long and short of it is, the rough edges came off, and uh, I ended up coming out of it to a better character, much more well rounded. But um, boxing as a sport, I believe, is probably, well, it is for me the only sport in the world, world where there is a, a clear definition of, you know, uh, a strong winner, you know, there's something out there, there's something special about boxing, there's something very special about it. You know, it, there's nothing like, you know, a boxing gym, there's nothing like the training of God, there's nothing involved like the sparring, there's, there's nothing quite like that. There's nowhere to hide as well, you know, all your physical attributes, your best attributes come out in there, or your worst attributes come out in there. And also, mentally and emotionally, it's probably, you know, the only spot where they all come out and where they can't hide, where you've got to deal with them all, you know, because you're under lots of pressure. Years ago, I was taken by, um, a pair of mine down to the old gym at North Street, I only went there once, not for me, but there we go, you know, went back again, decided later on in life, you know, let's try it again, let's have a little look at this, and it was a bit of a baptism by fire, but I'll tell you what, it was fantastic, you know, and I really, really enjoyed it, and uh, here I am now, so I So I like them, you know, to 
understand these things. And as they're doing these exercises, I let them know that. Because again, we've lost our identity from Mount Mike as a, as a society in that respect, you know. Kids need to know, if you work hard and you dedicate yourself to something, this is the end product. It's downstairs. It's in the ring. It's with Billy and Isaac and, L and Liam and all the rest of the other guys with the squad and Ian and that. That's where, that's the finished product downstairs. But to get there, you've got to achieve this. So you need to be fit. And then after that, we'll move into some technique. So it's all about getting the punches right. Let's putting them together so we're building them, you know, from the ground up. Let's have a look at the feet. Is the stance correct? If the stance isn't correct, they're going to fall over. If the stance isn't right, nothing else is going to be right. So we have to get that right first. And then we get the stance right and we start looking at the punches, the lead hand, the back hand, the lead hook, the uppercut, where the head should be, where the chin should be. So I'll run them through those sort of exercises. Bit of shadow boxing, bit of pad work, bit of back work, the general stuff that goes on, all the instruction obviously. Thank you. 